Hey guys, welcome to another Tackle Tip Tuesday, and in today's Tackle Tip Tuesday, I am going to discuss the equipment that I take with me whenever I'm going wade fishing. Coming up. So guys, if you've seen my recent videos, um, I've not had a kayak for a while. Um, so I have been going out and wade fishing, but kind of want to discuss some of the things that I take out with me whenever I'm wade fishing. So um, you don't really want to take a ton of rods with you. Um, the more rods you take, the more trouble it's going to be. I would say max is three, three different rods. And for me currently, like during the summer situation where I'm at right now, um, I've got this uh, medium light rod with a nice uh, cast cane sharky reel. Sorry, I need a retie this um, but it's on this uh, carbon light rod kind of older rod but still a really good uh, rod it's medium light 6.9 um, and I really like this rod um, I use, primarily use this for like really small jigs and shake like shaky head Ned rig type stuff um, so usually like I'll have a Ned rig tied on this one and then on this other carbon light rod um, is where uh, Poopy. Dad burn it. Got all tangled up down here. What in the world? All right. Now we got that untangled. Uh, this is my other rod. I usually do with like a small tube. Um, like I have one here. Um, braided, 20 pound braided, bright, braided line on each rod with a fluoro or mono leader. Um, but this is I could use for bigger soft plastics also. Um, also fish some like little hard bait minnows on these. Um, but I really like spinning gear for fishing in the stream. And sit that bad boy over there. Come on. And finally, um, recently um, I've been taking this rod now. Um, this can kind of be multi-purpose, but this is my casting setup. It's got a cast King Royale Legend on it, um, on this Abu Garcia Varitas 2.0. Um, but this is a medium heavy rod. Um, I personally like it with this uh, Whopper Flopper, um, but I'll also fish some uh, square bills on this if I set the drag right. but. A lot of times whenever I am wade fishing, I really like try to stick, keep away from square bills because if you're fishing a square bill in the right place, you're going to get snagged. And one thing I like about fishing a square bill in a kayak or in a boat is you can go get your lure back nine times out of ten. And uh, so recently I've been using this mainly for top water. But um, I do take uh, just a basic, this is a basic backpack from one. I was in the army, but I always put in here, make sure that I have my leader material. Um, so I've got some leader material in here. Don't want to forget that because you're going to have to retie. I've got a pair of hemostats, a little pair of scissors, and these all are on clips so I can clip them to the backpack to make sure I don't lose anything. Um, I've got another thing, a leader. This is mono. Um, and inside of it, let's see here, I've got my, another camera mount thing that I can use to film with. And then in here, um, the main thing that I stick with is like small soft plastics, my crawl chunk box, obviously my tube box. And then recently I've been doing like a top water box with some buzz baits. And then I have my terminal tackle box in here with all my jig heads and stuff and hooks. So biggest thing I found is that the best thing you can do is just keep your system simple. Don't try to take too much gear because you're going to regret it. Nine times out of ten I catch the majority of my fish on like two or three lures and uh, it's a lot more fun that way. So guys, if you get a chance, go out and go stream fishing. It's a lot of fun. Even if you're wade fishing, find a good access spot to go wade fishing. It's so much fun. Minimize that gear that you take with you. 
I would take two or three rods, nothing more, and just keep your system simple so that you can have a really good time. Um, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you enjoy my videos and you don't want to miss any, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, get outside, do something awesome, and take somebody with you if you get a chance. I'll see you guys in the next one.